Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. There's fuzzies flying around the air. Um, I have quite the array of home fragrance empties to share with you guys today. So it's literally, this box is busting at the seams. So, and honestly not because there's a lot in here, just like there's big stuff in here. So let's start with the candles. I had three of them. So the first one I um, ended up putting on the warmer because I put it, <laughs> it was in my project pan for Bath and Body Works and it had like this layer of like sooty, smoky wax. And so I ended up freezing it, popping the wax out, cutting that off, cutting the rest into wax melts. And then I was like, why am I doing all this and wasting all this time? So I put the wax melts back into the container and put it on the wax warmer. Honestly, guys, I don't know. Um, it was vanilla pumpkin marshmallow. There's hardly any scent left. I mean, I put it on the wax warmer for days and just like let it be. Um, it was from 2018, so it was a little bit older. Um, yeah, like you can see, not much wax, but I really wanted to get rid of that like bad, it had like just a layer of like wax that you could tell, like I had put the cap on and it just like went, you know, you can just tell. So I was like, get rid of that and it'll smell so much better. So I went through that. Um, I am going to pop the wax out of these jars so I can recycle these jars. Um, this jar I may keep depending on how nice I can keep it. Um, cause I really do like this brown color. So this is the salted caramel. I ended up putting this one on the warmer and here's why. Look at those wicks. Look how tiny they are. Uh, they're so small. <laughs> this one was just straight up. Um, it was like caramel it at the end like the more I burned through it, you got a little bit of those chestnuts. It says roasted chestnuts, caramelized sugar, spiced rum. You got a little bit more of that nuttiness. Really though, this was just caramel. At the end, it started to smell like sooty and smoky. Um, so I was like, okay, the wicks are tiny and I'm just putting it on the dang warmer. Like I'm not going to mess with it anymore. Um, same with this one. I might try to preserve this instead of recycling it. Um, regardless, the wax will come out. And then I also have honey crisp apple. So oh, I was going to get a picture. I have a picture and I was going to show you guys. Um, I had the worst time with this candle and it's dang mushroom top that it kept the wick every time mushroom top. There was one time it was like huge and I was like, no, 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 you can't burn anymore. And it was so massive. Um, the notes of this one were golden honey crisp apple blossom. That's all one golden honey crisp apple blossom anyway. And fresh sugar cane. This truly smelled like a honey crisp apple. I don't think I would repurchase this or I would need to burn it sooner. Burning it in September and then still into October, it was just like not what I was in the mood for. So I would have to do it sooner. Um, Cause I actually went through a Honeycrisp Apple Wallflower and this one was better. I mean, it wasn't as, it was in the air. Whereas I felt like the candle was like not the right vibe. I feel like this was, um, same notes and stuff. Uh, I would get the wallflower again. I just want to say, <laughs> so, I know I talked about this in that wallflower haul I did. And I was like the wicks, the wicks, I don't know if that's what we call them. Don't go all the way down to the bottom on these new wallflowers. And I'm not happy about it. Someone was like, no, it's not a problem. It'll fix itself. Whatever. Do you see this? Do you see that in the bottom there? The wick did not, it's not even close to picking that up. I'm not happy about it. I have these two other ones that you can see. There's no liquid left in them because the wicks go all the way down. So they are Caribbean Escape, which was tropical melon, raspberry nectar, creamy coconut milk. This was good. I always twist these the wrong way. This was good when I first plugged it in. And then about a week later, um, it was like 
the start of when I was in the fall mood and I really couldn't smell it after that. Um, so I don't know if I just like had it in my drawer for too long or it was just too light and I had it in like our big open concept living area. I have no idea. Um, the other one, this is one we finished at work. It's raspberry tangerine. <laughs> we just finished this up at work. We're like a month and a half behind seasons because we just finished this up and I started to plug in like a moderately fall scent. Not even really that fall, but it's like kind of there. I'm like, we're going to be burning or whatever, using our wallflower plug of the fall scents like all the way into January. I don't care. I love fall scents, but I'm just like, guys, come on. We need to pick up the pace from like, you can't make a wallflower burn any faster than it does. Um, but we just finished up raspberry tangerine. This is Wild Raspberries Fresh Tangerine and Lemon Zest. This one's good and it stayed strong till the end, in my opinion. Yeah, um, I just like wasn't in the mood for it though, because I'm like, guys, we should be doing fall scents, but I'm not gonna unplug a wallflower halfway and like preserve it. That's just not my thing. Um, kind of on the same vein, but not really, are these two um, Airwick things. I have no idea what scents these are in, but I in my most recent Walmart haul, I showed you guys, I changed these out. So, um, they're like in the essential oil things. They, you like push it into it and then like every certain amount of time it like release mist into the air. They're by Airwick. They're called like essential room mist or something. If you're interested, they last a freaking long time though. So would recommend. <laughs> Oh my gosh, you guys. Corey, this is um, a scent portable from Corey's car. <laughs> it's so freaking old. It's so old. Okay, this is in the scent Waikiki Beach Coconut. I'm fairly positive. He, we just switched this out of his car maybe like a week ago. He's had this in his like scent, whatever, the clip in his car since before the pandemic started because we definitely bought this at Bath and Body Works before the pandemic all started and you know Bath and Body Works was clearly closed for however long so we definitely bought it like February or March and he still had it in his car look how yellow it is there's like all this junk on the inside I'm like Corey we have backups you could have switched that it still has a little bit of scent honestly but you could not smell this in his car that's just so funny. I was just like, look how yellow this is. It definitely was not that yellow when we put it in there. So funny to me. Um, the scent I had going in my vehicle was Autumn Road Trip from Scentsy. The notes on this are like Anju Pear, Silvering Oak. It was so, so good. I absolutely loved it. I bought the wax of it. Um don't know if it will smell exactly the same it might be because obviously this is just like one like it doesn't develop notes over time it's just like it smells like this whereas the wax obviously may change as it warms and like release different notes um i don't know i would definitely get this again this autumn road trip scent circle if it came in like something longer lasting than a scent circle i would get that option first but i really really like that um only two lonely wax empties for this month. I have a lot of new wax I'm going through. It's also, I'm filming this like one week early kind of. Um, like the last week of October is not going to count in any of my empties videos just because I'm packing everything up to move. So it'll all be in boxes. Um, what was I going to say else? <laughs> so um, yeah, so I have a lot of new stuff it's a week early I don't have a lot of stuff that's like close to being done so it just happened to be that way um but I feel like as now the months go on I'm gonna have more stuff because I'm obviously trying to work through it so I have this little scent shot from the Melted Moose Insider Donuts which was cinnamon sugar donuts and hot apple cider it doesn't smell like much in the container and I feel like I'm finding out with the Melted Moose scents, it really doesn't smell like much in these containers and it really comes to life when you actually put it in your warmer. So this was super good. I was like, dang, I kind of would consider buying like a bigger 
sized item in this because for me these I get like three out I'll cut them into like thirds so that I can fill like three warmers basically and it's it was so good it filled up the house um it lasted like a, I don't know 14 hours <laughs> like 10 after like 10 ish hours they kind of start to die off so it may be like 10 12 14 in that range um obviously for me after like the 10 it becomes less and less and I feel like I can not smell it but of course Corey will be like it still smells in here you just can't smell it um but at the end of the day so I thought about like oh maybe I'll repurchase it which I would consider maybe doing that still but I feel like this is just kind of like a typical fall scent so I don't know that I would necessarily need to buy it from her I could probably find it elsewhere is what I'm saying um, the Scentsy clamshell I went through is Dumbo Circus Parade. Absolutely love Dumbo. So this is like peaches, mango, vanilla, vanilla bean maybe? I don't know. It's so good. It's so, so good. It's very citrusy. It's very like fruity. Um, definitely not fall. <laughs> definitely but I absolutely love it. Um, I think I'll maybe, maybe get this more when we get closer to spring, like at the end of the catalog season, maybe. Um, cause right now I'm like, I really want to do the fall wintery type of scents, but I absolutely love this. Okay. The last two things in my home fragrance empties that I want to talk about are actually these warmers that I have from Walmart. And you might be thinking they're in your empties video. Um, I'm going to tell you why. So this is the wall plug-in warmer I have. And then this is the just like standard warmer. It just like sits on your countertop, you know. Um, they obviously go together. Cute. Um, I really bought these warmers as an introduction, like to warm things in, obviously. And then like, do I like wax melts like you know I don't want to like invest all this money I'm like I don't really like this so that's originally what I bought these for they were not expensive I bought them at Walmart um but here's the thing that I have found out about both of these I was using them wasn't having any issues um I mean I haven't had them for long maybe like the start of August which is only a couple months so I feel like they shouldn't have done this but I don't know um I don't know if you can tell in this one. Oh yeah, definitely. So like, do you see that right there? It's like chipped like into the, I don't know how to explain it, but it's like clearly chipped whatever this coating is of this black piece right here. So that was kind of weird. I just unplugged it and was like, I don't really know what's going on. I didn't really think much of it, but then I was cleaning out this bigger warmer and a lot of the times I just use the freezer method, especially for this container. It's really easy to just like hit it and it pops right out once it's in the freezer. So I was, I mean, I routinely did that multiple times and I've heard other people say that they do that. So I haven't heard anyone say they've ever had an issue with it. Um, so I just did that and I really had a wax that, that wouldn't come out. So I was like hitting it. It really was stuck in there. Some waxes I find take longer to like come up like shrink from the sides basically um why I don't know I'm assuming it depends what kind of wax it is but it really was like stuck in there so sometimes I would just take something to like kind of pry it to like pop under it to get it out which usually I had no issues with once again um whatever the heck this wax was and I honestly don't even remember what wax it was like I don't think it was something like so out of the ordinary like I use all this other wax in my other warmers too so like I don't know what happened but look at this <laughs> it literally like took off the bottom like it's the same silver that's in this one but it's obviously way way bigger and it left all this like residue stuff that's like on there it's not like oh clean it out with isopropyl alcohol no it's like damaged so I don't know what the heck happened in here I don't know if I left it warming for too long or what the heck happened but honestly I have other warmers so I'm like this isn't like a super loss I didn't love this warmer by any means I think what I'll probably do I'm pretty sure 
this was a sensational warmer. Um, gosh, it says rim ports on the bottom, which I know is either sensationals or better homes and gardens. So what I'm probably just going to do is save the light bulb for my other warmers that are this brand. <laughs> and so at least I'll have a light bulb on hand, but I don't think I'm gonna keep this by any means. I mean, I have no purpose for it now because like, look at it. Um, did I do something wrong? I have no idea. <laughs> I haven't had this issue with any of my other warmers. So I'm not exactly positive what happened, but I just wanted to share that with you guys. That is why they're in this bin right here is because um, I had a little issue with them. So, <laughs> so yeah, that is everything I have for my home fragrance empties for the month of October. I hope you guys enjoyed and I'll see you in the next one. Bye.